Okay, so right off the bat, my question to myself is, why the hell do I still buy transforming transformers? So the reason I asked that is because I will never transform these things. So I'm not going to transform them. I'm just going to get into it, man. It's shit, dude. Like, I went to the store again. Actually, I'm going to show the people what they really want to see. So, nah, fuck it. Yeah, I'm going to do this just to get them out of the way. So this is the Wardon War Dawn 2-pack. Like, I feel like this is unique, even though it's like the same 12 molds. I'm starting to see what people talking about, the same damn mold, but... I like this one better. I don't even know her damn name. What is, what's her name? You know what? I'm just going to... I can look on there, but I'm just going to name her what she looks like. This is Trish, baby. Let's go. So, yeah, the back kibble, that is just... Oh, God. Like, I don't even know if I have it there right. Like, it's just awful. <laughs> it's awful. But uh, one thing I always have problem with these is, like, keeping them inside their grooves. Like, uh, so that's why I just generally pose them and just, like... Don't touch them again until they dusting them off. And I mean, hashtag no regrets. This is obviously the RC mold, the um, Transformers uh, Legacy from the uh, Prime series. But I wish like that was facing out this way because that just makes it look like shit. But nevertheless, like I mean, still, do I feel like I overpaid? No. Like I don't even know if these were ever made before. But this just. This just screams 80s to me, like just the way they look. Damn that, see, I had you posed up just fine, and now you want to be a be a, be a. So, I have these two up there just to show like the whole team, you know, like the. I think it's fucked up how he turned into um, Optimus, and rumor is he turned into uh, Ultra Magnus. Like, <laughs> like I, I'm gonna get into that in a minute, but of these two, this is I like this one the best. I actually like this. Of the three, I think it's the color palette and like the little extra backpack pieces. So like these like stick on there. So like uh, even though it's the same mold, you can tell like Optimus doesn't have that on the back of his. So it's like the basic same mold, obviously. It's fucking um, cup. But here's what I don't like. And like this is why I don't like Hasbro Pulse exclusives. So this is his arm, right? Okay, you're gonna make me look like a dick. But his arm comes off way too easy, like way too easy, like way too easy. In fact, it's trying to make me look like a jackass. But oh well, I don't like it coming off that easy. Like it, it is super loose. I'm thinking about putting some like nail polish on there just to give it like a little thicker layer. Um, but yeah, like this is, is just like literally like just <laughs> it's not cup like they could have did something better than that and at first these tabs didn't want to stay in but i guess i need to push his chest in more so i was upset about that not pissed but i was like okay i might have to super glue that but i don't have to so when it comes in the package it's all like super loose and so like you have to clamp it all together like 100 percent. but like i said i just got them he should have came with like an energon cube or something like they got this on the front cover but don't come with none of that shit and so like um yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Like, nothing special about these guys. Transformers, if you don't know, is what started me on this uh, collection journey. Literally, Hot Rod is the first collectible I ever collected. But uh, fuck all that. I was at the store and found this son of a bitch. Now, I got to tell you, like, this, this is gold label, right? I was talking mad shit when I first picked this up. So this is Captain Adam. Um, shout out if you ever watched Justice League Unlimited. This is where I will, I won't give McFarlane praise, but I will tell you, I still get excited about some of his stuff. And the reason why, well, I get excited out about his stuff, but the nostalgia, you know, hits that I get, you know, hits of dopamine. Because I love Justice League. I love Justice League Unlimited. I fucking love Young Justice. So, Young Justice still seriously, seriously underrated. But like, um, this is his gold label now. I mean, it wasn't really too hard to, Dude, I mean, like, he, he's on point when it only requires, like, three fucking colors. Like, I mean, wow, watch out now. Like, had this been four years ago, it took us four years to get these characters. I got Catwoman over here. I already showed you her, but I'm going to show her out of the box. This would have been, like, superimposed or something like that. It wouldn't just be, like, a splotch. But all you get for gold label is this, this, and, the you know, the card that's not him. The new 52, you know, versus the... Um, I'm going to say this is the new 52. This is like, uh, which one? Is this really new 52? Then which one is this after Flashpoint? 
point, like, I recognize this one more than anything. And, like, I do like how, like, his, like, arm attachments for characters are starting to be more incorporated in the fists and stuff instead of just God Marvel Legend style where you just wrap it around the wrist and it just looks like ass. This being a gold label, I mean, no flight stand. Like, I wouldn't have minded paying, like, 30 bucks for this. Would have, nah, I guess I would have. I'm not going to be, like, certain people like him, I need a flight stand. Like, it just don't look right. So, like, I'm going to probably get, like, a third-party flight stand on Amazon or Target or something like that. But, I mean, if you're trying to save a buck to, like, I thought the prices were going down. But these are still $24. But did I feel like this was worth $24? Yes, because, honestly, when I get it in my hand, it don't feel heavy or nothing. I just really do like, let's see if it uh, focuses. Let me tap the camera because it wants to be a bitch. There you go. Pay all this money for these iPhones and these motherfuckers don't know how to zoom in on the fucking face. The fuck? Yeah, I use my iPhone. I ain't spent over $1,000 for this damn thing just to text. Shit, I edit and everything from this bitch. But anyway, so I like him. I know I'm not going to do all the poses. I mean, it's the same damn diaper. I don't care about that because when he's on the shelf and I got like all the just... I'm waiting on like a good cat, um, Adam... Um, but I don't like the one that we got, so I'm not gonna get that one. Now this, I was iffy about opening, I was gonna probably return, but oh my goodness, like, and I realized, so I'm gonna find like some fake jewel, I'm gonna go to Hobby Library or something, I'm gonna add to her, like, that's kind of fun, I'm not that deep into it, but she's Catwoman, she should be still in like a jewel and a ruby necklace, I feel like covering dousing her in like rubies and shit, like, what does she do, like, this is the cat burglar, this isn't the, you know, I fight, but they gave her this whip. Like, come on, where was this with the other Catwoman? It dawned on me, to my knowledge, and I'm 99.999 cent sure, this is the only, one of only two Catwomen we've gotten in the McFarlane line. Oh, uh, that's a lie. I was fucked up already. Three, because I forgot about that whack. At, well, I do have her. I'm going to say whack, but we got that Catwoman from the movie. So I have both of those. And so, like, I, I was literally, I promise you, yesterday I got this at Target. I was like, actually, I said it on one of my videos. I was just walking through the aisles because after getting that Batman, I was like, oh, let me let me look her up. And like, I didn't want to pay the second party price. I was like, fuck it, because she was everywhere. But I didn't know that this was so soft. Like, if anything, I want to take this and give it to my Arkham one, but that one works just fine too. But hopefully moving forward, we get this with more shit. But, um... I don't know how I'm going to display her. I always want her in a sexy pose. You know what I'm saying? She got a flat ass, but I mean, still a sexy pose. I'm not a pervert like that, but it's Catwoman, bro. Come on. And so, like, don't know how I feel about the hair. I mean, it's cool. I mean, it's all right. <laughs> so I don't really know how I'm a poser, but I do want her to be holding, like, a jewel with Batman lurking behind her. So, like, that's kind of fun and, like, never repose her again, like, I saw somebody had like Batman wrapped up with this. That was just really cool. I didn't know that this was that loose. Like, um, it's actually Josh from Before Fig. So I fucking love watching that dude's content. Um, I like his uh, personality. So if you've never checked him out, that's what I was talking about in another video that I was hoping would get that Bane, I mean, that uh, Doomsday 2 pack. And, you know, but after me getting like a better copy, I get it. But this is the card that it comes with. I'm going to pluck it and file it. Real name. Salana Kiel. So her name is. <laughs> Calm down, motherfuckers. I'm just bullshitting. So, like, Selena Kyle. But uh, there you go. Boom. And uh, Captain Adam. Everybody's a captain. You know, like, can we get Major Adam? Why do it gotta be Captain? Can we get, like, something different? But uh, there's his read up. Like, I, I sort of know about him from, like, the movies, but nah, so I don't really care about this guy. Everybody always, like, looks powerful. They still ain't, to my, in my opinion, giving Green Lantern justice yet in these damn look, animated movies and shit. Never has he looked so weak than with the uh, Justice League. Like, I'm like, dude, what the fuck is the point of the Lantern Corps? That dude gets, he gets his ass kicked by every villain of the week. But let me, I digress. No, fuck that. Why is the Green Lantern, let me grab this motherfucker. Why is he so goddamn weak on the, on the, on the movies and animated shows? Like, dude, hold on, like. They act like this is just the ultimate power and in Blackest Night and shit like that. You know, they are. But when these motherfuckers fighting motherfuckers like, what's his name? Came down and started whooping his ass. Like everybody whooped his ass. Superman whooped his ass. Doomsday whooped his ass. 
he looked like a fucking idiot. Like, I'm, I'm just going to stop. Because I, I've, ever since I was a kid, I loved the idea of the Lantern Corps. Like, I really loved the Lantern Corps. Um, there was a CGI show. I think it was just called Green Lantern. Like, it looked hokey. I can't believe it didn't keep going because at first glance, it was lame. But it really started to dove deep into, like, the different Lantern Corps. And of them all, I like the Blue Lantern. I like his oath as well. Something, something, something. But hope burns bright. But whatever. So, yeah, I like amassing, like, different lanterns. I cannot wait. To watch Guy Gardner be a Walmart exclusive or some dumb shit like that. That's where he be fucking up. That's what I was about to get in. Why is this a Walmart exclusive? Like, dude, can somebody comment down below? Why do we even have exclusives? Like, what set, like, how do they know, like, okay, well, we'll pay you this amount, like, for, like, exclusives. And I'm just like, yo, like, that's so fucking stupid. Like, but, uh, yeah. I know some people are like, well, you bought the damn thing. Yeah, I did. I didn't pre-order this motherfucker. In fact, I was like, the only way I'm even going to go out of my way, I was in um, about 30 minutes away from where I live in a um, town called Visalia. And like, it said that they had plenty of these at a Walmart that was just like five more miles out the way this week. And I was like, fuck that. I'm not doing all that, especially for no fucking Captain Adam. Like, this motherfucker kissed my ass. Like, if I see him at GameStop or something, I see him. But yeah, so... That's pretty much it. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to bash on like the Green Lantern. Like, mad we only got like two Hal Jordans. But like, I mean, and look at his costume. Why do people hate that Green Lantern movie so damn much? Like, yeah, I'm not gonna hate a movie just because of a costume. But I did fucking hate Parallax. But I, I, I like more. I like more of the uh, Lantern mythos, man. And uh, I know Kyle Rayner is everybody's, and then possibly John Stewart. I. <laughs> I like Guy Gardner. I'm sorry. Like, I fucking do. And in fact, correct me if I'm wrong, is Guy Gardner not supposed to be the main Green Lantern? But the ring was closer to Hal Jordan. That just, that's the laziest writing I've ever heard of my fucking... These rings travel interstellar light years to find its bearer. And it what with this ring, like, Abin or whatever. Yeah, Abin Sora, he's a lazy motherfucker with a lazy-ass ring. Like, ah, oh, fuck it, this guy, dude. Like, get the fuck out of here. But anyway... Hope you like that. Um, I will say that I like this Catwoman. And if anything, to be honest with you, if you like collecting the, Mar uh, the DC multiverse, they all got this diaper and these weird legs. But at the same time, a lot of like things got weird shit. But if you got her posed right and you just got her on the shelf, like I think this is like worth getting. You know what I mean? Before she becomes scarce, I definitely say get her. And if another one comes out, if a better one comes out and I decide to sell this one, which as of right now, I probably won't. You know, like, I'm still going to sell it for a fair, what, like, three or four dollars. Like, McFarland figures, like, people try to get an arm and a leg. Um, I've been saying I'm going to, this weekend, I'm going to, I'm going to, like, show what I'm going to post on my Facebook group. Like, because I sell things like people. And I just, I sell it, like, for a fair. I'm not trying to, know, like, this is no knock at J Retro. Like, I'm not trying to save money to buy something else. Like, I just want the space. And somebody commented on one of my things. They said, no such thing as too many toys. It's, such thing is not enough room. I hear you, brother, or sis, or whatever you go by. So, anyway, hope you like this. Um, who ya? Comment, like, subscribe. If you didn't, still comment, like, subscribe. You know what I mean? Do all that. You know, do what the, do what the hell you want to. But to later, fam, peace out. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. That's copyrighting. Fuck that. But I fucking love Uncle Tim. Dude's hilarious. All right, y'all. Who ya?